So as my regular subscribers know, I've been playing with these Diawino boards lately, and uh, while I love them, um, the MPU6050 chip that's on them, uh, when most people go to use the chip, uh, the first thing they do is find this library. Um, it's just a pretty powerful library. Um, it allows you to do all kinds of neat things. Um, and, you know, props to the guys that developed the library. Uh, that could not have been easy. But it's uh, it's kind of overkill for Sabre application, in my opinion. And it leads to um, some pretty big code. And when you're dealing with these Atmel chips that don't have a lot of flash for code, um, you want to maximize your, your space and your efficiency as much as possible. So I created a, a low, lightweight uh, version of the motion manager. This is the example sketch for the Arduino sketch that's included in Use Saber, and I want to build it so we can see, you know, how big that is. See this sketch? It's a very simple sketch, and it's already eating up 60% of available programming space. You know, at a total size of you know, you know eight and a half k. And I made another sketch that uses my lightweight version. The sketch is exactly the same, except for that I'm using the lightweight version of the motion manager for the MPU 6050 and we'll build this and now you can see we're only at 42 percent now you know we're down to 12k so that's you know that's about five and a half k of savings so that's pretty significant All right, so I've loaded up my saber with uh, I modified my sketch to use the lightweight version and what I want to show you is you know if you just Move it like this. If it's short little motions don't cause a swing to happen. Neither do twists. So ignores that. But if you swing it, those are detected just fine. You see those little double swings? What's happening there is the sensitivity is such that if you, uh, when I'm swinging it, it comes back a little bit and it detects that as another swing so it detects that it stopped and then it started again so you get that little bit of a double swing because I don't have a if you do it with two hands you don't notice it as much but and uh, the clashes pretty sensitive and it's all done without interrupts it's just fast cycling code I'm just checking it very 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 often every five milliseconds I check to see if there's a clash. All right, let's... So, twist motions. See, no swing detected. Short little movements. No swing detected. Now, if you move it, There's clash detection, it's all done, with no interrupts, just super efficient, high frequency code. Oh, it's pretty sensitive, watch this. I notice after the clash, there's a little bit of uh, non-swing detection, but that's because I have a uh, have a debounce in my code that stops the uh, swing detection for a short time after a clash to make sure the whole clash sound can play. Because you don't want swing sounds interrupting your clashes. Alright, thanks for looking guys.